once again i welcome you guys to the make it simple youtube channel in my previous video i explained about what is cdk why we are using it what are its terminology like construct stacks app and history of infrastructure as a code with its pros and cons and also i explained about how to install cdk in our local system with the help of node package manager and also like how to create a sample application and explain how to deploy and destroy the stacks if you didn't go through that video just go through it and come back to this video i have given the video link in the description section in this video we will see how to test the cdk which means with the aws cdk your infrastructure can be testable as any other code you write from here you will learn how to write or how to write your test for your infrastructure code using a standard approach and also like with the help of popular test framework such as just for typescript and javascript or pytest for python the main pre requirement for this video to follow is basic knowledge on aws service and typescript and also just which is the test framework for typescript and javascript i will give you a short intro about cdk testing the pattern for writing test for infrastructure is very similar to like how you write them for your application code you just define a test case as you do normally in the test framework of your choice inside the test cases you just create a object for your construct and then as like do you do in your cdk app and then you you can check the assertion like whether it will be has a value or not like that you can able to edit the test cases so there are majorly two categories of test you can write for your cdk apps one is fine grained assertions and another one is snapshot test fine grained assertion the sense like it will test the uh, test specific aspect of your template generate a cloud formation template right it will be testing the some specific as aspect like whether this resource has this property or not whether this resource with this property has certain value or not so like this we can able to check so this test can detect the regressions and also useful when you are developing a new features using the test driven development test -dri driven development which means td tdd uh, write the test first and then make it pass by writing the correct implementation next one is snapshot test the word snapshot everyone knows about it it's a kind of a backup or copy which means what will do is like it will test the synthesized cloud formation template against the previously stored one which i can call like a master or golden template i can say so the very first time we are writing running the snapshot test right it will take a backup and it will store in your file explorer inside the snapshot folder and from next time onwards it will check against the previously stored one against the template suppose if you accidentally updated accidentally update your uh, cdk means you are, you will go and update the code otherwise you need to accept the new template as a ma new master one so this will be called a snapshot test now let's see how to write the test cases for that writing the test cases you need to install this uh, packages like cdk asset and just and type slash just but when you are installing a cdk app right this kind of packages will get automatically installed in your application let's see how to write the test cases for our application and this is the application which i created in the last demo and this is my app inside the app i have just created a construct or a stack inside the stack i have just created a construct like i have created a construct queue now we want to test this queue only see here in the file explorer there is the already test folder will be there it will be get automatically generated and in package.json also the assertion asset just everything will get downloaded automatically when you are creating a cdk app now let's see how to write the test cases now here what i am doing is like this will be get automatically generated i don't want to add it over here and just removing it and uh, adding my own pieces of code I'm just adding my packages over here like i want to have this package like assertion core demo stack over here now let's see how to write the fine grain test and assertion test I'm just giving comment unit testing and the first one is fine grained okay so for that what i am doing is like i am writing the test this is the uh, syntax for the using just framework like test and i'm just giving the comment like test to check the queue name test to check the queue name and i am writing the uh, arrow function for that what i am doing is like just writing the arrow function that's it and inside the arrow function what i am doing is like i will be calling my stack for that i'm just creating a object for that constant stack equal to this is my uh, object of this cdk demo dot c 
3k demo stack for that i need to pass two values like scope and string string i can pass anything but for scope i need to create a cdk dot app i am just creating it globally here constant app equal to new cdk dot app just creating it and passing this one and for the string i'm just passing some random variable my test stack that's it and from this stack i want to create a template constant template equal to template dot from stack from which stack from this stack i'm just calling this one like stack that's it I draw, right now the template got generated now i need to assert it like what we'll be doing is like template dot i'm checking as resource properties so i'll be checking whether my template has this property or not whether this uh, service or not whether this code or not so what i'm doing is like yes, checking with this property whether it has this property sqs colon q and then i'm checking with some certain properties whether it has or not for example i'm checking the my q name is there or not q name and then i want to check with the q name so in this stack what is the q name i have given is like demo jan 29 so i'm just copying it and just checking it over here that's it and it got saved to test it it will be a very simple commands what i am doing is like i'm just giving npm run build and npm run test that's it so it will run against my test case the fine grain test cases now let's see what it will doing it is just getting building built and it's getting run running my test cases and it will show like whether if the test case passed means it will show the test case otherwise failed means it will show you like fail what it got failed and it says like it doesn't match with the with the following properties q name is mismatched okay see here what it shows like you are checking the property but the property name is mismatched the property name generated is q name this one but i have given different name i'm just saving it again i am running this one for example again i'm checking this running build running the test cases now let's see what will happen and it is building and running my test cases yeah now it says like the test case is passed suppose someone has changed the stack over here and has given the test case name like jan 20 instead of jan 20 they are given fib 4 now let's see if i run the test cases now again it will get failed because they have to change the test case or they need to uh, they need to delete or they need to update the stack over there the changes now let's see npm run build npm run test now the, definitely the test case will get failed because it will check with the property and the property name what is the value we have given the value as demo jan 29 but the stack which was created with the property demo 54 let's see here see the the it got failed and it clearly says like okay expected demo jan but received dam, demo february 4 from the generated this is the stack that got generated like with the name demo 54 but in our test cases it has demo jan 29 now let's i will update it and by this way you can able to test your test cases with the fine grain test next we will go with the snapshot test what i will showing is like snapshot test for that we need to write the test case again snapshot again the syntax like test i want to give some command like test app for snapshot again the arrow function i need to write it sorry i forgot the syntax and then here what i am doing is like i am just creating the stack constant stack equal to again same way like new cdk demo dot demo stack i need to pass the two values like app and then some constant string like snapshot test i can give snapshot test this one and that's it now i want to test my stack with the previous one so what i am doing is like expect and synth utils and just take it off synth utils what i have added in the top to cloud formation so I, wa I want to check this one with my already existing stack to dot to match snapshot that's it that's it what it will do is like it was the very first time it will create a folder and say inside the test uh, here which is a called a snapshots and it will create a template like i can say it's like a master template and it will saved over there 
now let's see i'm just again running the my test cases again and what i'm doing is like i'm just creating a one more command prompt and npm run build ambassador npm run test now let's see what will happen what will happen like it will run the two test cases one is fine grained assertion and one more is like snapshot test now let's see inside the test folder it will get a snapshot it will take a backup of with the template which is a master template i can say master or golden template or backup or copy whatever you can name it see here the snapshot it got it and it created a cloud formation synthesis template over here now what we will be doing is like after 2 to 3 months someone may in the team they will be doing the changes for their own by accidentally or intentionally for example they will be adding the some other properties here like this false that's it false and they are running the test cases now again they are running the test cases npm run build and npm run test now this time the snapshot test get failed because it will check with the backup in the master template in the master template it doesn't have the property of fifo false right so it will ask us to update the template or you need to remove it either one we have to do it see here it says like it got template the snapshot got it got failed it says like in your template in the new template it was like fifo q but in your backup it doesn't have the property so you have two ways whether you need to remove it or it is an intentional one whether you need to move it means you need to update the snapshot so for that what you have to do is like there is a command hyphen 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 u with the test u means it will get updated now let's see now in the snapshot what will do is like it will update the property over here and it will get succeeded and from the next time it will get passed for all the uh, all the test cases until otherwise we are modifying the uh, stack now see it get passed and the properties get added over here so by this way we you can test both the fine grain test and snapshot test so by this way this these are the two ways you can write the test cases for your cdk apps so finally two two values i i would like to insist uh, for writing test cases one is like don't assert too much because preferably a test case should be a test one one and only one behavior should test so if you accidentally break that behavior means you can preferably get what test is failed and what is the test name you can exactly bro broke and also you can able to get easily like what is the test case failed and what scenario and all and second one is like test uh, treat test code is like your application code because it will have you could you could lifetime as long, long as like your regular code so keep your uh, test code as like as your application code and you can write the test cases exactly over there so uh, in this video we have covered about how to write the test cases by the two ways like snapshot and uh, uh, fine grain assertion test and in the next uh, video we will see about how to create a code by how to create a code pipeline using the cdk if you have any doubts you can just add in the comment section i will be happy to help you over there thanks guys